Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. I'm going to show you how to set up policy-based routing on PFSense based on client IP. Basically, if you have multiple WAN connections on your PFSense, you can set up policy-based routing. So you can decide that some internal IP, some internal client will use a specific WAN connection to go to the internet. Of course, a WAN connection can also be a VPN connection. So what I will do in this demo, in this video, is using a VPN connection to Mulvat. I will show you how policy-based routing is working in PFSense using a client IP. Let's get into it. This is the official article from NetGate talking about policy routing configuration, policy-based routing. They are talking about multiple WAN connections, of course, if you have multiple ISPs, um, you can configure the multi-WAN connection, the setup the multi-WAN connection. But of course, this also applies if you have several VPN connections. If you are using a private VPN connection to go to the internet, it can be treated as a additional WAN interface and policy-based routing can also be applied to that. I will show you how to do that. This is my PFSense demo. As you can see here, I already have configured a Mulvat VPN connection. Now this Mulvat VPN connection, I will treating, I will be treating this as a separate WAN connection. So what I want to do is I have a virtual machine running here. This virtual machine is making use of my PFSense. Let's go check the IP configuration quickly. IP config. And we can see that this virtual machine is using the gateway of my PFSense firewall. This is my PFSense firewall, which is running on this IP address. And what this workstation is doing, what this Windows client is doing, is going out to the internet using the default WAN interface of this, of this PFSense firewall. What I want to do is set up this, set up a configuration, a policy-based route on my PFSense in order to get this client out to the internet using the Mulvat VPN interface. So the first thing you need to do on PFSense is go to Firewall, click on Net, and go to Outbound. In the Outbound, switch over to the manual Outbound Net rule generation. Default setting for PFSense is the automatic one. We want to change this to the manual one, because if we change this to the manual one, we are in control of creating separate roles to, um, to make sure that specific networks or specific clients are going out through a specific interface to the internet. If you change it over to manual, you will see a few rules will be generated here in the mappings uh, section. Basically, you can get rid of all of them besides these two, of course. The first one is that PFSense itself needs to get out to the internet to get updates, package updates, etc. So this is the first rule, NTP, for example. Leave that there as it is, as it is. And then the other one is make sure that your complete LAN network can go to the internet using the WAN interface. So this is my LAN subnet. This is a, a netting rule to make sure that everything in my LAN is going out to the internet using that WAN address. Make sure that you have these two rules in place after you change the option to manual. This is the first step. Now, the second step is go to the rules, go to firewall, go to rules, go to LAN, and make sure that the rule which is here, that you change it according to the settings I have on this page. That means you need to change the advanced interface, advanced options of this rule, and tell it that the whole LAN subnet is using the WAN DHCP interface, that gateway specifically, to go to the internet. How do we do that? Just edit the rule, because that rule should be there in a default setup. Edit the rule, click on, you will see here that the, uh, the button is uh, saying display advanced. Click on display advanced, scroll down to the bottom, and at the bottom you will see a gateway option. As you can see here, Already, I have two gateways. One is the default WAN gateway, and the other one is my Mulvat VPN gateway. Now, what I want to do is I want to have a general rule that everything in my LAN network will be using that WAN DHCP gateway to go to the internet. So basically, I'm selecting that one DHCP gateway here. Click on Save, 
And you will see that the rule is going to look something like this. Now there will be a small cog in front of the rule telling you that there are advanced settings configured here. The advanced setting is that everything which is being hit by this rule will go to the internet using my WAN interface. That's fine because I want everything in my network going out to the internet using the WAN option besides this workstation. The next thing we want to make sure is that the workstation, whenever this workstation comes online on the, on the network, I want to make sure that it always receives the same IP address. So I made a DHCP reservation for this workstation. You can see it here. MAC address is bound to this IP address. So every time this workstation comes online, PFSense will supply it with the same IP address because my policy-based routing rule will be created on based on the client IP. Now that I have configured my DHCP reservation, making sure that that workstation always receives that same IP address, it's actually time to configure policy-based routing. Now, I, in order to get policy-based routing working, I need to configure two things. Create a specific firewall rule allowing my workstation with that specific IP address to use another gateway, in this case, my Mulvet gateway. And then the second part of that policy-based routing setup is make sure that you create a net rule telling PFSense that if the source is my Windows workstation with that specific internal IP, it has to be netted not over the WAN address, but over the Mulvat address. So there are two stages in order to get policy-based routing working. Let's get into it. Let's go to firewall and go to rules. Click on the LAN subnet or the LAN tab, sorry. And then we can basically copy over that general LAN, LAN network to the internet rule. So we are going to copy this, but we are going to make some changes here. It is for the LAN subnet. This is a little bit different now because I'm going to not select the LAN subnet here. I'm going to say I want a specific IP address to use another interface. Now, in this case, it is the IP address of the workstation, the internal IP address of that workstation. Remember, if I go back to my workstation, I can see that this is the IP address. I already reserved this in the DHCP server, making sure that every time this workstation comes online, it gets the same internal IP. So in the rule, I will tell PFSense now that if this rule comes online and wants to go to the internet, use a specific gateway for this. And the gateway I'm going to use for this is the Malvat gateway. Click on save. So you see that the rule is created, but in order for it to be hit correctly, we need to place it above the general rule we are using to route internet from our LAN to the, uh, to the internet using WAN. So I click on save. So what you're seeing here is I'm telling PFSense because PFSense is processing rules from top to bottom. So what I'm telling PFSense is it will check if there is traffic going out and the traffic matches this rule. It will always make sure that this IP address is routed through the MULVAT, um, the MULVAT interface instead of going to the LAN subnet to the WAN DHCP rule from the LAN subnet to the WAN DHCP rule, right? This is the general one. This is the specific one. We have to make sure that we have to place the specific one on top before the general one. That's the order of processing PFSense work. Once we've changed the order, hit save, click on save first, and then click on apply. So we've set up the first part of our policy-based routing. We are making sure that this workstation, this IP is allowed to route traffic to the MULVAT interface. Now, the second part is to create a specific net rule. So go to firewall, click on net, go to the outbound tab, and we have to create a rule telling PFSense that when a specific machine is trying to go to the internet, do not net it, do not create a net rule for it using the WAN address, but net the traffic using the MULVAT address. So what we can do here again is the same trick, click on copy, Make sure that you select the MULVAT interface here. I will select IPv4 because I'm only doing IPv4 in this lab interface or, or this lab uh, infrastructure. 
you can see here the network or um, or alias is already selected here. We have to change this to a specific network. In this case, it's the, you guessed it, the IP address of my workstation. Select that and make sure that the address here is Malvat. Just give it a, give it a description, policy-based route, rule, Malvat. Click on save. You can see here, it has created the rule at the bottom of the list. The same applies here again for processing. Make sure that this rule is being hit first and then the general rule for all your network traffic, traffic through the WAN interface. So I've changed the order, click on save and click on apply changes. Again, this has to do with the processing of firewall rules within PFSense. It's doing it top to bottom. So the top one will be hit first and then the bottom one. Now, this is basically everything you need to set up if you want PFSense to do policy-based routing. Because if I go to my workstation now, I can see that I still have, of course, the same internal IP address. But now if I hit the refresh button here, you can see the external IP has changed to the IP address of my Mulvat VPN connection. Just to make sure that it's working, I'm going to the ipchicken.com web interface. You can see here, this is the old IP address. This is the IP address I get from the lab infrastructure if I'm using the WAN interface on PFSense. Uh, now that I've set up policy-based routing, I know that if I refresh this IP address, it should show me exactly that's what happens. It shows me now that traffic is going through the internet using the Mulvat interface. This is on the speedtest.net website. Let's move this a little bit to here before I click on go. Well, this is in Dutch, of course, because the language of this system is set to Dutch. Now you can see the Mulvet interface here is already showing some spikes from traffic because I'm browsing the internet now using this workstation, which is going to the internet uh, using Mulvet. Now, if I click on go, it will now generate traffic. And if I'm correct, this traffic should go out through the Mulvat interface. Uh, no, we don't want to have a location access here. And you can see here already, this is going very fast. And I can see that the, the traffic actually is going through the Mulvat interface. Of course, the WAN interface is spiking because the Mulvat interface is just a layover over the WAN interface. But you can see that I am making sure that I'm using the Mulvat interface here to go out to the internet for this workstation. So this is one way of setting up policy-based routing based on the client IP. Now, the other thing is to create a networking alias in PFSense. That way, if you add an IP address to that alias in PFSense, everything added in that alias will automatically be routed to the, uh, to the specific VPN or multi WAN interface, right? Uh, because what we have done now is we have created a specific rule for this specific workstation. If we have multiple clients uh, we want to set up to go to the, to the VPN, we don't want to add a rule for every client. That's basically what I'm saying. We are not going to create a rule for every client that will be very um, it will be uh, very messy, it will get very messy and it will not be, from a management perspective, it's not the way to, to work. PFSense has a very interesting option, the firewall aliases. And what I'm going to do here is create an alias, which will be a alias, which I will use in the firewall rules, the two policy-based uh, routing firewall rules I've created. I will change them to use an alias. And basically every time I add an IP address here to this alias, it will automatically be routed through the Mulvat VPN. So I create an alias, give it a name. I will do host here because I'm doing IP addresses. Let's give the IP address here of that workstation. Give it a name. YouTube demo, click on save, 
and then apply. Now let's go back to the firewall and then rules. Go back to the LAN tab and open up that specific rule we created for this workstation in the firewall. Edit the rule and make sure that we are not using an IP address here, but we are using policy based alias. It will, if you just enter a few letters of the, of the alias you created, it will automatically come uh, with a drop down list and you can select the specific alias you're using. I am using the PBR alias, which I just created because I know that that alias contains the IP addresses of the clients I want to route to the Mulvet interface using policy-based routing. So this is the only thing I have to change here. I'll go down, just make sure that the gateway is still on Mulvat and click on save. Now you can see that instead of a source IP, there is a alias configured here. If you hover over that alias, you will see all the IP addresses which are added to that alias. This will make sure that every time you add an IP address to that alias, it will automatically be enabled to use this firewall rule. Now click on apply. Let's go to firewall and do the same for the net rule we've created. Go to the outbound tab and just edit this net rule to not use a IP address. Just remove that and we will do the same and select an alias. Make sure it says network or alias. Type in a few letters of the alias you're going to use here. The same alias, of course, as you used in the firewall rule. And now go to save. As you can see here, this alias is now being used in this net rule. If you hover over that alias, it will tell you these IP addresses. This is the IP address which is included here and click on apply. So you have set up policy based routing now. You know how to set it up and you also know how to manage the policy based routing rules using aliases, making it much simpler not to adjust the rule every time, just add a IP address to that alias you're using or remove it. And this will make sure that that IP address get added to those, to those policy-based routing rules. And that's how we set up policy-based routing on PFSense using client IP, the source IP of your client. Of course, it's better to do it using that alias option I showed you, makes it much more manageable to add or remove clients instead of creating uh, firewall rules for every client or deleting them. In the next video, I will show you how to do policy-based routing using the destination, the destination network, destination DNS, or the destination FQDN. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click on like and subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section. I will get to it as soon as possible and see you next time. Take care. Bye.